So this is the video I wish I had when I studied stoichiometry myself. It makes things so much easier. You just use the following trick and the following table. And you can pretty much solve and find the molecular weight, grams and moles on every single thing in the balance equation. So check this out. But before we begin, I want to remind you that I have free chemistry and biology notes down in the description. You can get them absolutely free and they will really help you out. They will have a lot of multiple choice questions and practice questions and summaries all absolutely free, so make sure to subscribe down below. So let's dive right into it. Over here we will have a classic example of a combustion reaction. We have propane reacts with unlimited amount of oxygen, which will give us carbon dioxide and water. Now I'm not going to review the combustion and I'm not going to balance the equation which you should do. I'm going to take it for granted that you already passed the stages and you only need to find the molecular weight, moles and grams in this type of questions. So Let's have an example to a question that you might see on the admission exam and similar exams. 88 gram of propane over here reacts with oxygen. So we have an unlimited amount of oxygen. What are the products in grams? So how many grams of carbon dioxide and how many grams of water do we get in this reaction? Let's check it out. So in order to find everything from the grams to moles, every single thing, we will need to create a table under the balance, and, I, and it's very important, the balance equation. So make sure it's always balanced, because it's very, very important, and you will see why in a second. So we will have a few columns and rows for the actual products and substrates. So we'll have propane over here. So no coefficient here, so it's pretty much one. We will have five oxygen which will give us three carbon dioxide, oops, carbon dioxide and four molecules of more water. Let's try to understand exactly what does it mean. It means that for every mole of propane that is reacting with five moles of oxygen, we will get three moles of carbon dioxide and four moles of pretty much water. What do we need to do in order to find everything in this question very easily? We will need to write a few things in the table itself. The first thing would be the grams. The second thing would be the molecular weight, which we can easily find out just by using the periodic table pretty much. The third thing would be the moles, which we aren't given, but we can easily find it using the following table. And the last thing would be the ratio, which pretty much means how many moles we have compared in relation to each other the things in the reaction itself. Now, let's write down and fill in the blanks of what we already know. What do we know in this question? What do we need to find? We need to find this and this. So, propane, we have 88 grams. And from quickly calculating the molecular weight, we know it's 44 per mole, grams per mole. It means that if we want to find the moles using the following table and check this out, we can do 88, this number, divided by 44, will give us the number of moles. So grams divided by molecular weight will give us the number of moles. So 88 divided by 44 will give us 2 moles of propane. If we were given 2 moles of propane and they would have asked how many grams of propane we would have, get, we would have gotten, so 2 moles times, so I go up the table, times 44 will give us the number of grams, the amount of grams we have from propane. So if we go downwards, we will do 88 divided by 44 will give us 2 moles. And if we want to find the grams, it will be moles times 44 times the molecular weight will give us the number of grams. And we can do it pretty much everywhere. We just need to write it in we just pretty much need to find the proper amount of moles. But remember, we need to fill in the ratio as well. So, we have, if we have two moles of propane, it means that for every two moles of propane, we will have six moles of carbon dioxide and eight moles of water. Why? Because of the ratio of the coefficient. If we know that every one mole that reacts will produce three moles over here and four moles over here, it means that if we change it to two, 
it will be 2 times 3 and 2 times 4 which will give us 6 moles of carbon dioxide and 8 moles of water. It means that just by finding the molecular weight of those two, these two molecules, you can easily go up the table and find the grams. Check this out. Molecular weight of carbon dioxide is 44. The molecular weight of water is 18. 8 times 18 will give us 144 grams of water. 6 times 44 will give us 264 grams of carbon dioxide. All I did was to take the ratio, so 1 times 2 will give us 2, and 2 times 3 will give us 6, which is the proper ratio, 2 times 4 will give us 8, which is the proper ratio, and then I took moles, I multiplied by the molecular weight, because this is how you find the grams, and then I found actual the, the products, the, the question itself, the how many grams we have of products in this question. So let's quickly recap what exactly we did. We find the number of moles, because we had the number of grams, and we could have used the table just by going down and find the number of grams. Then we accounted for the coefficient ratios of the moles, because for every one mole of propane, we produce more moles of water, different number than one. It's not one to one, it's one to three and one to four. So for every two moles, because we have two, we have six moles of carbon dioxide and eight moles of water. Then we used the periodic table and we just calculated the molecular weight and we could have easily do moles times molecular weight and it gave us the gram, which is the question itself, the products in grams. Early hope this video made sense and I will see you next time. Make sure to check the link down below if you want free question bank and free practice questions and notes and study material and I will see you next time.